What up, guys? It, happy Wednesday. Happy rainy, dark and gloomy Wednesday. It is rainy here in Kentucky. It is. It's okay, though, because we got CBD oil. <laughs> so CBD makes everything oil. better. It makes so. everything better. So we talked a little bit about CBD oil, some of the, you know, the CB1, CB2 receptors, and uh, some of the great things that it can do. Uh, again, CBD is not cannabis. CBD does not have THC in it, or it has at least, you know, less than 0.3% THC, which is the legal amount. CBD is a Schedule 1 drug, and the thing with being a Schedule 1 drug, there's no research out on it. Right. It's such a pain in the butt for them to try to do research. In fact, the government has made it a Schedule 1 drug, yet the government has a patent on CBD oil. Uh, we don't have to get into that. That's... Well, that's a story for a whole nother day, right? Money, money, money. But <laughs> CBD, marijuana, THC have amazing health benefits. Now, we're not saying go get THC if uh, you can, especially when it's illegal here in our state, right? But you can get CBD oil, which does not have the hallucinogenic effects, does right. not have the get you high properties. Although, some people can have that sensation and that feeling. It affects everybody very differently, right? It does. So, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And so, you know, the, you guys, the, the system, the endocannabinoid system, I mean, this is a system that's only was only founded about 30 years ago. Right. You know, so, yes, there's not a lot of research out there uh, because it's been illegal for so long, but now that it's uh, becoming legalized in more states, there's yep. definitely more research going on. There's actually the CB3 receptors is a newer receptor that they've, they've recently found that they... Uh, they think it impacts brain function more so, but again, there's there's a lot more research being done on it. So, yep. um, again, guys, so we talked about the CBDs wanting to just kind of normalize function in our body, um, very uh, similar to like an adaptogenic herb. It just yep. wants to normalize homeostasis. So, um, the the main receptors for CBDs are in the central nervous system, brain, central nervous system, uh, immune system, and GI tract. Yep. And so that's where we see it, you know, really benefit benefit people more so in those areas. Yeah, and again, quality, quality, quality is gonna be so important when choosing a CBD oil. Now, different strains of hemp and cannabis will affect you differently than it affects your friends, your neighbors, your family. Yeah. So you guys might take the same bottle uh, and, and take some, and it affects you with just really calming, really relaxing, really uh, helping you sleep or helping you balance your mood or helping decrease pains. And the other person is like, I don't feel a darn thing. Are you sure? You sure you're not high? <laughs> but uh, it just affects everybody different. So you got to find like the right strain that works for your body. But more importantly, you got to find the top good quality. Gooder quality is always gooder. better. Yeah. Gooder. If gooder. You want it gooder, right? Be careful with the cheap ones. <clears throat> Hell, even be careful with the super expensive ones that you just got to get to with and, and, and it'll change your life, right? Just you got to be careful when you're choosing CBD oil. Yep. Um, and so, um, yeah. So what's it do for us? Like, what can it help us with? Also, what's an adaptogenic herb? Because you said that in some, some of the watch viewers are probably like, well, what does that even mean? Right. So, so there's different classifications of herbs, stimulatory herbs, inhibitory herbs, um, which are pretty self-explanatory, right? So something that will stimulate function, something that's inhibits function. Um, and so adaptogenic, it's going to, it's going to act different or affect people differently depending on the need at the time. Uh, and so it's going to adapt to the environment. Yeah. Again, CBD specifically wants to normalize homeostasis. So if you need ramped up, it's going to ramp you up. If you need calm down, it's going to calm you down. Uh, especially Which is why some again, people can have those effects and others not, right? Because yep. yep. you didn't need it and she did. So yep, exactly right. So you know, I mean, we see we see a benefit in a lot of people with pain. Yeah. Uh, with digestive issues like bloating and indigestion and mm -hmm. um, nauseousness. You know, it can really help with with nausea. Sleep. Um, sleep. Yep. Help sleep. with sleep. Uh, again, the pain, right? So you just look at those three areas. There's a lot of research going out with cancer, yeah. about cancer and the effect. Because again, guys, our immune system fights cancer for us all the time. Um, if cancer's pregnant, uh, pregnant? If cancer's present. <laughs> yeah, or pregnant, either way. Either way. <laughs> if cancer's present, then, you know, obviously homeostasis is thrown off. And so if you're putting a substance in your body that wants to get back to normal function, yep. then you would think it's going to want to stimulate immune function to help to fight that cancer. So uh, a lot of research out there about how it can help with cancer as well. It's pretty cool stuff. Yeah, and I think we're going to see more and more about this coming out, especially yeah. with, you know, the legalization of marijuana in different areas. Yep. Even Canada. In Canada, you know, they've legalized it throughout the whole, what is Canada? 
provinces. All the provinces. <laughs> all the 13 provinces. My wife would know, maybe know that answer. She is Canadian. Um, but but it is in, but it is it's a class. It's a Schedule II drug. And so again, United States for us to take that next step, we will have to get rid of that Schedule One ban. And, and I think we're going to see really big strides that coming up very soon. So. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Just want to say hi to some people, Brianna. What's up, James, Alex, Kim, Debbie? Thanks for jumping on with us, guys. Again, yeah, if, if Debbie, you, we got to talk, girl. We, uh oh, she's in trouble. Uh, she is in trouble. You had a question about if it's good for kids on Monday, so do you want to dive into that a little bit? Yeah, I mean, it, we can dive into it. Oh. Again, questions. Oh. We want questions, guys. And I know there's a question on Monday uh, about CBD and kids. That is what Friday is. Like, our Friday show is just to answer all of your questions. So yep. make sure that you're asking questions. Make sure that you're posting them in the comments. Make sure that you're you're asking, asking. You can ask for a friend if you, if you don't want to say it's for you. Because there's a lot of people that are watching and, and they're... I know you have questions, and it might not be with CBD oil. It might be about health. It might be about nutrition. It might be about exercise. It might be about hormones. It might be about whatever. Ask the questions. We are here to just give you guys information. We're yep. not selling you anything. We're not giving you anything. We just want to give you information, give you value, yep. and that's what Friday shows are all about now. So we take a shot. Something. Something. Maybe some CBDs. Maybe some CBDs. And then, and, then, and then just answer the questions. So again, make sure you answer those questions. But yes, CBD is great for kids. CBD is great for, uh, for, for adults. CBD is great for animals. Yes. I'm telling you, I got a 15-year-old Jack Russell, and that little thing has run hard his entire life. A lot of jumping, a lot of running. You know, to today, like, and, you know, he eats a grain-free diet. He eats raw food. He takes supplements and vitamins. But like, you know, he still is. It, it, it's catching up with him, and so he can't even jump on the bed anymore. We had to get him stairs. It was a, it was a heartbreaking day to do that. <laughs> but uh, and so when you give him CBD oil, like you can just tell he just feels so much better. Like the inflammation is gone, the pain is not there. Helps him sleep, calms him down. Yep. So it is wonderful and amazing for pets and for animals. So. Yeah, and just understand, guys, like when we talk about any kind of herb or medicinal plant, you know, it, it's not an end-all, be-all. It's going to fix everything. Yep. It's a tool in our tool bag. That's right. You know, and, and some people benefit from it. Uh, uh, some people benefit from it and may not experience the benefit. You know, so again, it's – I don't want you guys to ever think that, like, when we talk about an herb, that herb is, like, going to fix everything. Right. It, it just doesn't work that way. Right? I mean, Never. This is Never. supporting your system. This is a tool we have to help normalize function, help reduce inflammation, help reduce pain, you know, help stimulate immune function, like whatever it is that we're, we're, we're focusing on with you as the individual. But again, to know what to focus on, we gotta test you to find out why you're sick, why you're having certain symptoms. <clears throat> Taking a CBD for the rest of your life to make the pain go away, like okay, but if you stop the CBD, does the pain come back? Well, it does, well then there's a reason why the pain's there, right? So, so again, don't just use these products as you know, to cover up symptoms, that's basically right. what I'm saying, yeah. That's right. And, you, and, you, and how, how you ingest it, how do you get it in you? Because you can get joints that are pre-rolled up that have the CBD in it, but now you're smoking it. And so right. now if I'm smoking something and lighting it up, I'm going to change the molecule <clears throat> structure. I'm going to heat my lungs up. I'm going to cause cancer. Yep. I'm taking CBD oils to try to cause decrease pain and cancer and other anti-inflammatory things. Yet I'm causing inflammation each time. It makes no sense. Right. And then, and then, in, it goes for marijuana too, because there's a lot of benefits of marijuana, the THC and the CBD when combined together. Yep. It hits both of the receptors and uh, the CB1, the CB2 receptors. Again, it's illegal here where we are, so we can't use that. But smoking it is not the way to go. But if you could figure out how to get it into an oil form, right. that's different. Even vaping CBD oil, is it better than smoking? Man, they yeah, say like less tar and whatnot, is, right? but it's still, still but The research is not out yet on vaping. It's true. It's, it's too new. So the research hasn't been shown that what it's going to cause and what it's going to do, you're still putting something and inhaling into your lungs. Maybe right. it's better. Maybe it's not heated up to what's the degree the long-term effects, though, right? What's the long-term effect? So an yep. oil form is going to be the best form that we would recommend for you. Yep. Awesome. Yep. Love it, guys. Um, that's our that's our healthy hump day. Healthy hump day. And, and guys, again, so you know friends, you know people, you know family members, people you work with that are struggling, we got that referral program. Make sure that you click on the link and, and mark some, put somebody's name down, put somebody's email there that needs to set up a phone call with one of us or come into the office or they're remotely and we need to figure out somewhere in the United States that there's a wellness way office close to them. We would be honored to help you guys out. Uh, we're raffling up Fitbit 3. So if you wanna know how many steps that you're doing in a day, let's talk about that real quick, just a side note. Yeah. Where did 10,000 steps a day come from? 
Do you know? I have no idea. A good Do you question. know? Maybe I should save that. We're going to save that for Friday. Okay. And I want to know who knows where the 10,000 step a day thing came from. I know. Is that a good number? Is that, should we be shooting for 10,000 steps? Well, we got to figure out first why they came up for it. And okay. then that, okay. that right. will be in the answer okay. that I will give you on Friday. Good. Why is it normal or the idea and the goal for you to reach 10,000 steps in a day? Yeah. So let's see what the answers are. I think we can have fun with it. Um, I'm really curious what people say. Yeah, because I mean, it's good to track. It's good to track activity. It's good to track what you're doing. Just sure. like water. Like we talked to our patients about drinking enough water, you know, and, and it's like, well, how much do you drink? Well, I drink all day. So, so, so you had a glass. <laughs> well, yeah, I drank a glass all day. <laughs> Miss Judy, we'll answer that question on Friday. Yep. Yep. We'll have fun answering that question. That, on that'll Friday. be a fun one. <laughs> um, but yeah, and, and again, keep asking questions. I love it, guys. So answer the ask questions, and then again, our our question for the day uh, to answer on Friday is, where did the ten thousand step a day thing come from? So, we appreciate you guys as always. Make sure you like this. Make sure you share it, and uh, we look forward to seeing you on Friday.